This right here is the steps of the studio. Uh, LA got killed coming out of uh, this door right here. The back door of the studio, one room. Uh, he had got finished recording brothers. Step down these stairs and walk into that alley right there. And that's when it happened. It's fucked up. It was a fucked up thing for me because I was the one that introduced him to this studio. You know what I'm saying? I brought him here. It's fucked up. Like that's, that's that was the thing about the whole situation that fucked me up because I'm the one that brought him to this studio. Like I feel like if I never introduced him to this studio, he'd probably still be here. That's the thing that eat me up every day about the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? But the haters had more power than me, I guess. You know? Uh, see, that window right there. I don't even know if this motherfucker still, I, I don't know if, like, if somebody still lives here or whatever, but that's, that window right there is where the studio was. We stepped out, down these stairs, and into that alley. And the motherfucker both was a great right there. So you, you went to that alley over there? Yeah, right here. JB was still on, on top of the stairs, and he said he saw. Closer, closer. JB saw, when, when LA walked out into the alley, JB saw somebody walking up, and he saw him like, hey bro, somebody creeping up, and dude walked up and shot two times, just like that. I got the call, you know, I got the call, went to the hospital, Northwestern. That was Northwestern, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, yeah. It was about, yeah, that was, that was Northwestern and shit. It was probably about, I wasn't even in that bitch that long. How long y'all was there before I got the, I probably was like an hour because all of them left out. Went to downstairs to get some eat, play the lottery and all that shit. Right. And they left me up. And I saw the detectives. One of them got a text. Showed right. the other one. And they left. You feel me? Right. Dude, by the time everybody made it back, the doctors was coming out. Yeah. Because I wasn't even there that long, for real. Like, yeah, I, I probably was yeah. like 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I, was, I was telling them. Like, I wasn't even there probably like 20 minutes before they came. The surgeons came out of shit, and Dirk get there, he like, man, damn, bro, I think they act, they coming out, you know, they got blood and shit all over them and shit, it's like, mm -hmm. like two detectives and two surgeons, a male and a female surgeon, and two male detectives, and like a old ass preacher looking nigga with like some fluky ass suit on. The night that, the night that Leonard passed, can you talk about, I know, I know that's a little tough, but if you don't mind talking about, um, how you how you got the call, how you felt when you got the call and everything that transpired after. Well, I didn't really feel like when I got the call, I just felt like um, I was a little worried, but I wasn't a lot worried. Mm -hmm. And somebody came to pick me up. Yeah. And when they came to pick me up, we rolled past and I can see the crime scene. Yeah. Okay. You know, I was able to look back and see the crime scene and I could see a whole lot of police back there. Okay. And that got me worried. It made me worry. Oh, okay. You know, at first I wasn't worried. That worried me and okay. I felt like, wow, I need to hurry up and get there. But then when I got there, he was in surgery already. Okay. And um, I, I remember leaving and I went to the store and played the lottery. And, um, you know, just regular. I was leaving out, going, actually going to the store and Dirk and Tatum was coming in and they went up and I went to the store and did whatever I needed to do and come back and he was still in surgery when I came yeah. back and I never, you know, yeah. but I was just feeling very uneasy and yeah. nervous. I felt real nervous, but um, my niece, she was, yeah. she wanted something sweet. She wanted a yeah. cake pop or something. I remember yeah. taking her downstairs in the hospital to get a cake pop. Yeah. And before I can get back up there, they, they came out and said that he had passed away. Yeah. So I, I think it happened like that for a reason because I probably wasn't able to take that or handle that, you know, yeah. for them to tell that to me. So yeah. when I got up there, everybody was just going crazy and ballistic and yeah. I couldn't like process it, yeah. so I um I left. Oh. I left. Everybody was up there, and I left, and I went downstairs, and I just went downstairs by myself because it was just too much going on. It was like chaos.
chaos. Yeah. And I, I didn't want to be around it. So I left and I went downstairs and stayed downstairs for like an hour and 30 minutes. And then when I came back up, they was telling, they had told me that I had to tell everybody that they had to leave because they wouldn't let me see him. Yeah. So yeah, I, heard that. I um made told everybody they had to go. Yeah. And um they they let me see him or yeah. whatever and that just felt like it was unreal. He he just looked like he looked like a baby to me. Yeah. Like he was wrapped up real tight like a baby yeah. from the neck down. And they said I couldn't touch him. Yeah. That was like terrible. How you you can't touch your child. Yeah. Like, you know? Like who are you? Yeah, you tell you, me. But they said he was evidence. And I couldn't touch him. Well, you only can touch from the neck up. And that was like devastating to me. Yeah. You know, so it was just crazy. And it's, it's a day that I will, I, something yeah. that I will never ever, ever forget. I would never imagine it. Yeah. Outliving my son. I would have never imagined him dying or being yeah. killed. That yeah. was like the furthest thing from my mind. I would have never thought that what happened to him mm -hmm. and it's still unbelievable yeah. like right now he had got shot like a year prior to that and we all rushed to the hospital that time we got the he had the surgeon he was up talking and laughing but that time it just felt some felt yeah it felt about different it. about it because the first time he got shot i was with him you know i was right there with him like when he got shot i looked at him he laying in the street he, Ah, you know, he just tweaking that shit. You know, like, cool as hell about it. And I'm just looking, I'm bugging, like, mad. I'm mad yeah. as hell. Then, like, I asked JB, like, JB, was he talking? JB, like, yeah, he was talking. That made me feel good. But then when JB was like, he said, uh, like, bro, tell my mama and them I love him, bro. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You feel me? Like, that completely threw me, yeah. whole, threw me off. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I heard that shit. That shit. It, it went from, like, up to, up. Uh, a high then a low, like I'm like he was talking. They be like, yeah, he was talking, but then he be like, but he said, bro, tell my mama I love her. I don't think I'ma make it. And woo woo, you know. Oh, no. So that fucked me all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah bro. I, they came out and said that shit. We came out here probably a couple days later. His blood was all stained right here. All that shit. That was probably like what we doing right now. Yeah, yeah. We came, they said that shit. Man, I was in that bitch, it ain't even hit me. And so we was like, damn, I'm phoning him, like everybody in that bitch. Man, when he got, he like, the surgeons tell his like immediate family, oh, like, my, slide. Was my, that was my mama. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and OG wasn't even downstairs. Like, she was on, she wasn't even on the floor. Like, Mama LA wasn't even there. She was downstairs in yeah, the she lobby. Down, she, took my, she took my yeah. niece downstairs yeah. to get a cake pop. Oh, oh they, they told us that shit. I, they told us immediate family, like, check it out. You feel me? I get up, but I ain't wanna, you know, go where they was at and shit, cause I, I ain't feel that shit. You feel me? So I'm watching folks' mama and them impressions and shit, like, to see what they was gonna say. It's like, soon as, the surgeon opened her mouth for it was like, motherfucker. Hey, I'm, I'm looking like, I'm, I'm looking like, who can I grab? Should I grab my mama, my sister, or my nieces, or whoever? Oh. Then I'm, I'm looking at them too, like, nigga, help me grab somebody. Both of them, like, I'm damn. You feel me? Like, it ain't, like, he said it ain't hit him for a couple, like, it ain't hit me for a couple days. You feel me? Like, yeah, or, not, or probably to that night when I got home. Yeah, it was that night hospital, for me, bro. It was like, damn, like, this shit real. Yeah. Because we did a lot of other shit before we. Simmer down for like it got real after that that same night. But like I'm getting I get to the crib at like four in the morning. You know me in LA we got like a hundred thousand pitches. I'm just steady going through them bitches and all that's going through my head is that line Dirk said in this song about J Money. He's like I got that call about my bro. I ain't wanna believe it. That's all I'm steady thinking. I'm like damn folks. On video, I was pouring down. I'm telling you, I ain't never crashed that hard, folks. Like, and then, like, it was more, it was real fucked up because me and him was together the night before, right? This this exactly how it happened, right? I picked him up. It's me and a little female that I was messing with at the time. Mm -hmm. She couldn't believe that LA was going crazy like that. So, like, me and her was together the day before this. And she like, so you mean to tell me it's your little nephew? Woo, woo, woo. I don't know, because I'm, I'm, I got to listen to the right. music. Oh, I'm like, yeah, we finna go kick it with him. Because, like... Matter of fact, that weekend prior, he had did the video with your boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we supposed to go there, but I ended up going to the wrong location. So I, I pick up, like, we gonna go kick with L.A. today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I go pick him up, it's probably like 8 o'clock. I call this dude at the studio. Now, me and him had a, this, 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 this was really, really crazy about it. Me and this dude had an agreement, like, 
don't ever let my nephew come to this studio when somebody else here. Cause it had already been some shit said prior. You mm. feel me? So it was like, okay, I called. Bam, he broke. Uh, y'all probably ain't gonna wanna come here. I mean, he like you, I know you ain't gonna wanna come here. There's other people here. I'm gonna call you back like 9.30. LA geeking though to get to the studio. He like, man, I gotta I gotta get this song did. I gotta get this song did and um send it send it to Dirk. My tape gonna come out on the first. You know what I'm saying? This the 25th. You feel me? He's trying to get his shit ready for the first. And this is brothers that he's trying to record. Yeah, I ain't know, I ain't know what the name of the song was. Now he just said, I gotta get the song did as soon as the dirt. Cause from what I heard, he was at that studio. He was supposed to go back to that studio the next day, but then actually the decided studio, to go to another studio. The studio where he got killed at. I don't know what was going on at that studio, but he went there with my brother. My mm -hmm. brother turned him on to that studio. And then the guy who ever owned it, he told my brother that he didn't want L.A. coming there. By, he didn't want him coming there while it was other people in there recording. He wanted him to only come there to record when he alone. May I ask what? I don't, that's what I don't know why. Oh. You know, but my brother said that L.A. had been calling him, calling the guy, trying to get an appointment at the studio. He hadn't been asking for weeks. Then all of a sudden, this day, you decide you want to let him come to the studio and record, and there's somebody else in there. Like, And then this happened? Yeah, exactly. So for weeks, he didn't pick up? No. Then he picked up, and yeah. then this night that happened? Yeah, yeah. And they were never able to like connect this guy to that or anything no, like that. No, they just wow. he, he just. But I mean, I'm sure that's he had to have crossed your mind. Of course it yeah. did. Of course it did. So um, you wrote a song after that, after what happened to LA happened, and um, I wanted to ask you some like Mama Capone told a story on our show, um, and I know you probably heard the story. Obviously, you you've heard it uh, mm -hmm. about um. The way the studio guy, the one who owned the studio, he acted the week before where apparently like L.A. had been calling him and he was like, nah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't I don't want you to come when anybody else is up here. I don't want you to come when anybody else is up mm -hmm. here. And then one day he told L.A. come and then other people were up there yeah. and shit. Something like that kind of mm -hmm. fucked up how he did it. Like kind of, you, you obviously heard that, right? All that yeah. shit. How did you, did y'all ever find out anything more about that? Like did anything, you know what I'm saying? Like did he ever get... Bro. Anything ever come off that or no? It's just bro, all so kind of scandal like, shit. Exactly what happened to LA and how it happened to LA, bro. That shit got back to us like that same night. Like, nigga, by the time we was all leaving the hospital, we had had 95% of the story. Wow. Exactly how it happened, who was supposed to did it, everything. You feel me? Like, we knew everything. Like, yeah. that's how much the streets talk, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. why niggas getting locked up for old bodies and all type of shit, bro. Like, you wouldn't believe how fast the yeah. whole story made it back. And I know the shit had to have some truth to it because the shit, the shit had happened. It's like the niggas, they facing that shit now. And they didn't yeah. even get caught later. Yeah. They got caught a year later. But it's like, you know, I don't know. But it's like, that's what, what we heard what was supposed to be happening. You feel me? I ain't going to say what actually happened. That's what's supposed to be happening. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But um, like, this shit was like, uh, it's a lot of fuck shit, man. That's, you know, I don't want to talk about it like yeah. that part because it's his case open. Shorty them fighting his trial right now. Oh, oh wow. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. That's crazy. So uh, he like, take me to the hostage studio. You know what I'm saying? He like, I'm going to go record it over here. Then we can go to meal shit tomorrow because I see uh, microphone food. I like how meal sound be sounding. Right. I'm like, all right, I, I, I take him over there. Now, I was going to go to the hostage studio with him. nigga. He go upstairs. He up there for like 15 minutes, got me just downstairs waiting. I'm like, damn, bro, what's up? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna call and tell a nigga? He like, oh man. Now he tell me like, it's niggas up here. Like, you probably don't want to come bring a little chick up here or whatever. You feel me? He like, I'm just gonna call you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, the next day, I sat outside all day long waiting on his call. You feel me? Like, I don't know, like, it was something wrong with my phone. I don't know if the call ain't come through or what, but like, this, this, I, I remember clear as day was like opening night for the NFL on Thursday night, you feel me? As soon as I go in the crib, sit down, turn the um, football game on, my sister Lil' wanted to call me like, bro, what's going on? They say Lenard just got shot again, you feel me? 
like at first I ain't feel no no type of sense of urgency because like we had just went through this same shit last year. Like yeah. I say, we get to the hospital last year and he he there laughing and shit. I sat there for like ten more minutes. So I'm just telling me like, no, just go go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I go get in my car and when I got in my car, my mama called me. When my mama called me, she already crying. You feel me? Like so everybody was feeling. Yeah. Like it was a different feeling it's from the, different feeling. the time before. You know That's how saying? I know that shit real. The, like it was the same with the me. The time before it was like we got to the hospital. It was just he was good. Yeah. This time we get there, it's two uh like homicide detectives there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They interviewing us, asking everybody who is you, who is you, and all that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The shit just was a whole different feeling. Yeah. You feel me from the, the prior? Guy. Cause I'm like when they when he first like this time when I when this shit when he had got killed the shit that time. Like, when he got shot the first time, I was with him. I never even went to the hospital to see folks, like, the first time. Like, it was just like, air by time, a motherfucker was even, like, thirsty to go up there. It was like, motherfucker, I already got word. Like, oh, yeah, folks, he already, you know, like, he, you feel me, chilling. I got up to the hospital, he and that bitch having a party. Yeah, you feel me, like. He got Gotti up there. <laughs> yeah. My little homie Gussie before. Yeah, like, yeah. He, it's like, they, it's like he, he in that bitch. They running the hospital, you feel me? They going, hey, Gotti, go give me a pop. She. But like she had it on lock, you feel me? Yeah, I'm She now. walking into the bathroom like all type of little shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I call up that he yeah, bring me two double cheeseburgers and a small and a small fry. That was his little meal. On phone? Yeah, eat that <laughs> bitch. He put the he put the uh he put the fries on, on the, the burger. burger. On both them on the burger. That's yeah, how he, he used to eat it. He used to do that shit. They had time at McDonald's. From from McDonald's. McDonald's. He was do that shit and McDonald's on phone. Put the fries right on the burger at the time. Like yeah. and it's early. 11, 12, 11, 12, 13 and shit, he was living in Atlanta. I'm saying he moved back to Chicago in 2010, but like every summer, every summer he'll come back. You know what I'm saying? And like they I lived on I lived up there, they lived, they lived right under me for like probably like three years, they lived right under me, but he'll come back and we'll play mad and shit. You feel me? He always felt like he, like it'll be like we playing man. Now, my boy right here, no, I bust his ass in man too though. On <laughs> another note. <laughs> oh. Oh. But he always feel like he always feel like I like I always give him that little false hope, like he finna win. You feel me? <laughs> I come back and take that shit out of his mouth. He used to be sick. You feel me? Like he like he like you know he was an into the video. Like I can remember like probably like a month before this shit happened though. I, I, I it was the same way though. We had we was at my homie prop crib playing 2K. We, me and him bet it. Like, it's just a little five dollar game or something. Now, he he winning. I'm like, nigga, you already know how this shit finna be. You always think you gonna win. I'm finna come take it. I come back, take the lead. He end up beating me like on the last second shot or something. Oh, I was shitty. You feel me? <laughs> like, I swear to God, like, <laughs> shitty as hell. Like, I'm like, I always, I now I know how you always felt about this shit. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, then like another little memory. Like, I remember like the first time I ever brought him here, right? Like, I had look this 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 studio right the nigga Mills, I ain't gonna lie, he was A1 on the recording and shit and the, the engineering he was raw. And his price, he like he he was charging like he wanna charge an hour and nothing, he'll say, give me fifty dollars, you could do three songs. You feel me? And he was he wasn't no weak ass engineer, you feel me? So like I ain't know I ain't gonna I ain't even know it's like like that. So I go get LA and shit. I tell him like, man, we finna go to the studio, bro, uh like I'm like, don't go up in that bullshit, man. How your shit together? Cause like I'm thinking we finna be on the timer. He like, man, I ain't finna bullshit. Take me to the crib. I take him to the crib. He get his book, his his CD with the beats on there. He went in this motherfucker and straight drop one take. So loud, you feel me? This so loud got recorded here. You know what I'm saying? He straight dropped so loud one take. You feel me? What else got recorded? Uh, well the last the, the other time I was here with him. Uh, he did, he did the intro for Separate Myself. That's my shit. He did, he did, uh, him and Rondo put their verses on Steve Drive, and Rondo did his, uh, that, uh, was smoking on the Tuka Pack. Like, yeah, I paid for them to record that shit here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, like, like he say, Brothers, well, you know, Brothers was getting remixed over here because he had recorded at another studio. It was a few times that like, he came here without me. He'll just he'll just come and be like, "Hey, I'm at the studio. You 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 owe Mills fifty. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that. Like I ain't know what the fuck he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, 
really know what songs is being recorded, but he'll just call me and be like, I'm here. And I just know I owe meals 50, you feel me? <laughs> That's all it be like. Uh, and then also let's talk about uh, a lot of while we're in LA's name for to, to gain more popularity, yeah. to gain more uh, scandalous, right? Just express your feelings on that and talk about that. But as far as like people uh, using his name to try to get some clout or like try to blow up fast or whatever, I look at I look at it like like when I when I see and his shit like that, I just feel like he inspired. like he he inspired them. Like he 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 really he accomplished what he set out to do. You feel okay, me? Um, like yeah, like I don't look at it like no like I be like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, motherfucker be like hey blowing up like. My, my nieces and shit, they don't they don't like it at all. They they be like they be wanting to spaz, you feel me? They go crazy about that shit. But I look at I be having to tell them like let like that's that's that was his goal, you know what I'm saying? Like like if you if you know his song, six hundred bars, like on the intro it's like Tupac talking like I ain't saying that I'm I'm gonna be the brain that changed some shit to say but but I guarantee you that I will inspire the you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's exactly what he did. Like, <coughs> like motherfuckers be hitting me up like, man, you listen to NBA Young Boy? He stole your nephew whole style and woo woo. I'm like, shit, that's that's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you got a motherfucker from all the way, wherever Young Boy is from, checking in on LA. You feel me? Like, that's big to me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Like, shout out to shout out to Young Boy. Me being at court. And when this person got found guilty, then they want to tell me or lip sync, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm not mad at you. You did what you did and you got to face but you're not judgment. Sorry. Yeah, you, you, you got to face, you're not sorry. You sorry you got caught. Yeah. You got sorry you in a jam. Exactly. That's it. You not sorry that you did it because you, you, you sat and you waited and you plotted. And you waited. Yeah, they said there was like a you, trail car or you, something like that. No, they, like, but it's the thing. It's like they waited outside. So if you got thirty minutes to wait for somebody yeah. to come out to kill them, that's thirty minutes you got to change your mind and exactly. say, "I don't want to be a part of this shit. I'm finna go. I, I don't want to be in." Where it. you want to so, be is where so, you're gonna be. Right. That's exactly. So you can't say you're sorry because you're not. You what? You you had plenty of time to think about it before you did it. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's your boy Jason. So, man, aka the LA Nation General, man, we are at the House of LA, the famous House of LA. What's your name? Takori Holmes. Takori Holmes. Yeah, this is Bebe, y'all. The famous Bebe. She got, she got her own show too. Come on. Yeah, man. You know, this, this is the front room where LA used to lounge at. This the um, it's the kitchen. Well, he used a. Did he shoot so loud at her too? Huh? He, was in, he shot so loud at her too, didn't he? Yeah. He shot so loud right here. Uh, you know. You know. The, the dining room where uh, Riley used to. It's the bathroom where he was washing his face on so loud, you know. This, he got out washing his face in the bathroom, you know. All that. They go, they go pink right there. This is the famous Pinky Capone. Hey, hey! You guys say hey! All right, come on. This is the Hall of L.A. right here. Yes, this is the, the Hall of L.A. Hallway this is, we had this on the um, Bring Him Out. Uh, yeah, you had this on the Bring Him Out. He had that on it and so loud. I mean, no, I'm lying. Uh, he had that on it some more. Yeah, this 
the famous Mike's. He was seen, I think he was just some more too. Yeah, the famous Mike. This is room right here. We really kind of moved around, stuffed in chains, you know, things like that and that and other. We moved around. Where is Lenard? Huh? Where's Lenard? Where's his thing? You have it? My mom got it. What? The, the wooden thing. Where's he, Lenard? Um, no. Is it not? Yeah. And this is, you know. I'm gonna grab it for you? Yeah, grab it for me. What? Grab what? Bernard. Grab what? You finna see. Yeah, this is closet though. No! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Huh? This is, this is Lenard. Come on, right here. Wow. You know, we like, keep him right here. Safe! You said the safe. We don't know what that is. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is uh, uh, pieces of us. Gang, gang, you know. All the guys, you know, you got Frodo right here. Me, him, and Dang. Bleak. You hear me? Folks, you got Nisha right here. This baby when she was a baby. Wow, wow. Baby. Whoa. See Corby right here. Mama, see. This is you right up. That yeah. Lenard is kissing right up. Yeah, that's you right up. I can't me. This is daddy right up too. Um, that's his daddy? Yeah, this is Pops right up. Oh wow. Look just like him, don't he? Look at that. Yeah, 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 the yeah, resemblance. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> he looks just like a spin image. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is me and folks again. Oh, Famous EA all them on here too. A lot of other people. I think this is Jeezy right here. Dirk uh, Mama LA. Breezy. You know everybody on the wall. Zach. Lil Boo, all the dead guys. Oh wow. Us right here, gang. You know, gang yeah, gang. Yeah. That's how we coming, man. This is really cool, you know. The washing machine is right here. <laughs> <laughs> the washing machine is right here. <laughs> Everything is let's do. Boy, we gonna hit. Damn, I don't need to hit that. Damn. Uh, yeah, but you know, it's, it's the LA, this the same crib. You know, a lot of stuff been changed. So certain things been moved around, but. He's probably the same boss as a cereal from when he was there. Mm -hmm. Damn, and he used a steak in my chocolate pebbles. Ain't that what they call the pebbles? I used to be mad as hell. Cause I, I love them. I don't let nobody else eat them at the crib. Uh -huh. He the only one want to bust my shit down. I used to be afraid. Uh -huh. These folks there. Okay. <laughs> Damn, and he used a steak in my chocolate pebbles. Ain't that what they call the pebbles? I used to be mad as hell. Cause I, I love them. I don't let nobody else eat them at the crib. Uh -huh. He the only one want to bust my shit down. I used to be afraid. These folks said. Okay. <laughs> I know when he was at my crib though, he used to love eating frosted flakes and shit. Oh frosted yeah, yeah. Frosted flakes and um, uh, what the fuck, apple jacks. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? Right? That shit ain't yeah. even good. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't even good. But he used to be banging them bitches. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. This LA favorite liquor right here though. Which one? Rim thing. Remy. Oh, okay. His favorite liquor, man. He turned a lot of the guys on. We don't even drink, but he used to love to bring the bottles up. So we used to back when all of us was broken shit, we used to put our little scraps together. We had, ended up straight up some money for one of these and shit. You know, you know that 
Let's see. Hey, what was LA favorite cereal? You know? Hi. You don't know? She don't, I, don't remember, I don't remember either. My mama just told me that shit. I forgot. All right. Couple of them left, but don't think shit sweet cause you can steal me deaf. Mm. Fix his ass up if you need a repair. Never fall for a bitch, love, don't sleep here. Got money over here, got money over there. Triple stacks in my right. system, right. thunky in the air.
take y'all shopping. And so about three years, maybe two years before he passed, I had become a nurse. And I was working, and he goes, I remember when you told me when you become a nurse, you were going to take me shopping. And I was like, I am going to take you shopping. But I never got to take you shopping. So that's my story about L.A. Capone. But uh, I do want to say happy birthday, L.A. And uh, I love my boy cousins, and he was one of them. And L.A. Capone. L.A., that was my boy. I liked him. He was a good rapper, you know. He was going to make it out the city. Make it to bigger and better things. He was a great rapper. I mean, I listen to him all day, every day. Why'd you like him? What, what about his? I mean, what about his style? Like he had his own style. I remember mm. when y'all used to go to day camp at Man Park Center, and then y'all had that little talent show yeah. at the end. Yeah. Very active. I talked about when I used to spin out at your crib. No, I remember that time y'all had to go with the Lashawn. They made like, yo. No. I'm Katie Gavins, aka LA Capone Big Cuz. You might as well say we cuz. That's because our parents grew up together. Uh, one of my favorite moments I had when I was when I used to always spend the night over their house. I used to listen to his freestyles and stuff like back when MySpace and Tag was popping. And I used to tell him, like, could you write me a rap? And he used to be like, you don't want to rap for real. And I call him and call him and call him when the weekend come on I be, you know, finna spend the night over their house. And then he'd be like, you ain't for real. And then it was like, I started rapping for real years later. Like when my my cousin Black on the track taught me how to uh, write a song and how to record. And then it was like, he was like, you really wanted to rap for real, you know? And when we was about to do a song, you know, he got killed or whatever, so. I ain't never get to really work with him. But we family, you know, I got the bond with him. 
He inspired me to rap because he could really spit. Like, he could spit. Like, because I'm a music kid, so like, I listen to all type of music. And I know real music, like from freestyles to songs. Like, I could tell people a song that's hot or weak or whatever, you know. But it's just like good music inspires people, you know. And it's like, for me being around the music game all my life, it, 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 that's what inspired me. And LA was like the press of Chicago. Like he touched everybody with his music and with his personality. I like his music, one, because I like his flow. I like his flow mostly. And two, I like I like his beats. I like the beats, too. Okay. And your top three favorite songs of LA's? Um, Player for Keeps, number one. Two, around here, and um, three, Shooters. Right, so this is what happened, man. One night at the crib on the block. <laughs> man, it's me, it's all the guys, right? We have a bunch of whole slide and shit on BD. On phone number. so now when we have them slide, when they come, it's they deep as hell, you feel me? So it's like, but some of the hoes, we was already fucking certain niggas was already fucking certain bitches, you feel me? There was some bitches there that I had fucked, but I wasn't fucking with at the time. And then there was a bitch there that I was fucking with that was like, I was fucking with her at the time, you feel me? But I ain't even had fucked yet. So, they come and see. Lil D, he had a girlfriend at the time. His bitch was there. Before them, he'd take her, cuff her off. You know what I'm saying? Me, LA, C, they all us on phone them. We ain't got no bitches. These ain't our bitches, but one of them I did fuck with hard though. But that wasn't my bitch either. Though. But on BD, one of the bitches I had fucked already. I had fucked a couple of them, but one of the bitches I was fake still currently fucking at the time. So on phone them, I go take her upstairs to the thought room. We had a thought room at the time. We called it, we called it the thought room. That's what we used to call it. But um, man, what the light at? Oh yeah, so phone them, yeah. So, I take her to the thought room with the Hello Kitty sheets. All the thoughts knew about the Hello Kitty sheets. You know what I'm saying? I take her to the thought room. I smash the bang. I send LA up there. LA smash her. I'm throwing them, you feel me? No, I think I sent C Day up there. C Day smash her. Then I sent LA up there. LA smash her. You feel what I'm saying? For the whole time. Fuck how many times she want to get smashed? Bro. You know what? I'm lying. I'm throwing them, I'm lying. I sent LA up there and, sma and he smashed her, right? And I sent LA up there, he smashed her. This, I'm confusing our situations. Yeah. I sent LA up there, he smashed her, you feel me? Yeah. So now, folks come back down. Nah, oh. you're light, nigga. Come on. Hey. Yes. He tell me and shit, he like, man, bro, her shit was stankin', bro. But whole time, I don't never peep the situation like her shit stankin'. I'm like, damn, yeah. He like, man, ooh, yeah, I was hitting that bitch from the back, man. I was smelling that shit. I said, but one, she let you hit her from the back. She ain't even let me hit her from the back. You know what I'm saying? Like on some tweaking ass shit. Like the bitch, every time I used to try to fuck her from the back, she was like she can't take dick or something. So she let folks hit her from the back and shit. So I'm tweaking with them about that. I'm like, nigga, you lying. Real, real. Yo, dick stink. <laughs> Cause I just got done fucking her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, man, he front and shit. He played too fucking much. Oh, God, you know what I'm talking about? Tweaking like shit like that and shit all the time. <laughs> On BD, I smelled it because I had, I, 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 after I fucked her, on BD, I let folks know fuck her, you feel me? I took the little bitch that I was fucking with hard upstairs in my mama room, fool. <laughs> BD, laid down with her, Four of them come in that bitch, because we was drenching each other playing that water game and shit then too. Four of them come in my mama room, fool, do me dirty. LA, came in my mama room, do me dirty while I'm laid up with the bitch. Fool, then my mama come in the crib, fool, and catch me in her room. With a bitch, bro. Bro, she she didn't even want to tweak with me in front of everybody. She just walked out the crib and went to my auntie crib. Treated the fuck out of my life behind closed doors. Steve. And her bed was wet as hell, so you know she mad as hell. Then she walked in the crib. It's all type of niggas and bitches. It's just like we was having some Hugh half in the playhouse, Playboy Mansion ass shit going on that <laughs> night, bro. Everybody laid up with a bitch. Everybody fucking. Then I get up the next morning. L.A. goof ass told me he fucked the bitch who he told me pussy stank, he fucked her again on the couch. Ah. Like, yeah, I ain't, y'all was all, y'all took up all the beds, cause I think C. they went in the thought room and was laid up with another bitch. 
and you feel him. So he tell me like, man, I ain't got nowhere else to go. See, I'm oh, for you, dirty as hell. That's one of the funniest, like, funniest moments, fool, like that I remember with folks, like on some straight nasty, dirty dick ass shit. <laughs> Do you see like do, do you see that that LA was just the heart and just like now, it's just it's just broken apart yeah, and people are trying yeah, to like it's, you know it's it's broken apart like I didn't know these boys like that before Lenar passed away I didn't I didn't know them you know he didn't let he didn't really want his family to interact with his friends okay so I didn't know them but just from me seeing them when. He first passed away and how everybody was together and all of that and now it's all just yeah like fell apart broke apart dead they dead they in jail and they just not t the other ones that's still out here they just not together it's messed up don't be wrong ocho you're gonna make me look bad <laughs> pull up your phone no i'm just fucking with you bro Fucking brain that I know a Z know. And now my niggas, we 
some bosses, all your niggas free low Coffee's on them triggers till it's gone and we go back and reload I'm on Jojo 33, nigga, fuck the 3 0 Stand that guy like Jojo, I'll be fighting to get shit like Evo Fucking bitches getting money, that's my fucking Steelo There's no folks in the cup with Eagles, nigga, call them Cleo Don't think I'm like and got the maggots stuck off in the Pino Sergeant, boy, you fighting Nino Free my big homies, that's not they hit them with the Rico I'm trying to fuck them, you can stop it, and I ain't talking chemo Nobody burning up for them shells For the fucking for the shells And that shit's hot, just like hell Just like hell And when I slap on a bell Unless you want to be the mark for Sunday
Hey, you heard I said that new shit, I say.